All right, our last little um, technique is uh, going to involve some rubbing alcohol. Remember, please don't spill rubbing alcohol on your furniture because it ruins the wood, ruins your floor. Just don't spill it. Um, so rubbing alcohol kind of pushes the paint around. Um, it's like a really funky little, almost like psychedelic effect. So um, I'm going to load up my brush with a little bit of thicker paint this time. And you got to work while it's still wet. And hopefully this comes out pretty well on the um, paper here. But if not, I could show you something else that you could do. So I've got some paint down. And I'm just going to soak. I just soaked up a little Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol. And then I want to try and drip it down. See if I can. Come on. There you go. All right. See that happening? Kind of pushes the paint around in a funky way. There we go, another one. So that would be a good thing to do. You just drip it right on there and then it um, spreads the paint around and creates like a little ghost effect. Okay. Um, so next, you just kind of need to let this dry and then you can pull off the saran wrap and see the effect of the saran wrap and then, you know, pull off the masking tape and brush off the salt when this is all dry. Um, maybe like after an hour. Okay. Now, again, this was on computer paper, which isn't ideal for watercolors because it just doesn't soak up things very well. So I'm going to put this to the side and in your art kit, I gave you a piece of watercolor paper for practice. Okay. And this is six inches by about four and three quarters inches. Don't confuse it with your other watercolor paper. I gave y'all a longer, skinnier piece of watercolor paper with newsprint, and we're going to use that for our mini project. Um, so set this aside. And this paper is just for practice. And um, as you can see, I taped it down to something hard, just the back of a binder. If you have a piece of cardboard, um, you can tape it onto that, even like the back of a cereal box or something. Just tape it down because because um, there's so much water, it warps the paper. Um, so like you see here, like it warped the computer paper. And this is thicker, it can handle more water, but it'll still warp a little. So um, that means it'll like kind of crinkle and get like wrinkly. So taping it down helps to um, keep its smoothness and its flatness. And um, what you can do with this is any of those techniques, you can try them out again. Um, and uh, something that you can do with watercolor paper, though, is you kind of prime it by just giving it a little coating of just plain water. And I know it's not coming up on the camera, but there's a little, uh, I'm getting some water on there. And that way it's ready to kind of accept um, some more paint. Okay. And you can try the different techniques that we've you know, tried so far in this class. So like, if you didn't feel good about that salt one that you did, you know, you can kind of try that one again. I could put a little like space over here and see how the paper, the, the paint spreads with a watercolor paper. It's different. So really, this is all about you kind of messing around and um, just seeing how this all feels, um, enjoying the techniques and, and thinking about what you're going to want to use in the future. Um, so if I want to do another one, I could do one over here and I could try to, um, there you go. See, the paper was more wet up here and the, the paint spread. It was a little bit drier down here. If I want, I could try that alcohol. See, oh, it works really, really well on the watercolor paper. Um, and another good one is that damp brush lift or that tissue lift that we kind of did. So. Let me pick up some more paint and I'll show it to you again. So this is just all about you kind of messing around and seeing what it's like to paint on the watercolor paper. Okay, so um, this is the one where we kind of lift off some paint, show it to you. Um, so quickly, I'm running out of time. So you take a little tissue, there you go, and you're able to lift. Because um, again, watercolor is an additive and subtractive form of making art because you can add and pull away. Um, go ahead and mess around with this and have fun. You could let it dry and then paint on it again and see what happens. And 
just try the different techniques. Um, so I'd love to see a picture of what you do with this little 